So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install our silence retro kit to our auction concentrators. All our new builds come with it already. So it's only for you that have the older style if you purchased it maybe early 2020. So first I wanna start off by, we're gonna remove the compressor at a uh, way quieter compressor. So you wanna start off by loosening up these uh, post clamps here. Both ends. You want to cut the zip ties here. You want to cut the power in from the compressor. Leave everything loose. You have four screws holding the compressor in. You want to go ahead and loosen those, take them out. So you want to give a this hose a slight tear just so it makes it easier for you. Just a little bit though, because you're gonna be reusing this tubing. Okay, twist this up. Remove it. So once you have the hose removed, you can just remove this fitting here, 9 16 You take away this, this is trash. You save onto this, you save this fitting here. You go ahead and remove this fitting right here. Use your 9 16 again. This is trash. Make sure you clean out all the residue from the Teflon. Uh, you wanna go ahead and uh, grab a 5 8 wrench. Remove this fitting. That connects it to the cooling coil. Once you have the compressor out, it's easier to work on without these rubber feet. Remove these, you're gonna reinstall them to your new compressor. So do that. You go ahead and remove all the fittings. You remove the pressure, pressure relief valve. It's most likely still good. If you wanna just remove it. Use tap on and reuse it. All the things. So when prepping your compressor, it's better to do it without the feet on it. So on the, your compressor is going to be installed this way. So on the red one, that's where your pressure relief valve is going to go. Go ahead and tighten that down. And then you're gonna tie in this 90 fitting and you wanna install it at an angle facing towards the sit beds because it's gonna go install like this. This end, you wanna make sure you remove the far right fitting. You get an Allen tool, you remove this one. And just remember, it goes on the same side of the pressure relief valve goes. And this is where your cooling foil tube is gonna go in. And you want it pointed directly down. And this is what it should look like. And you prep it, and then you go ahead and install the feet on it, and you reinstall it, you bolt it down. But make sure you tighten all your fittings. So you receive this new capacitor with your compressor a zip tight in your kit, just save the boot. You can trash this bracket or you can, you, you can do whatever you want with it unless you want to drill holes in your chassis and mount it with the bracket, that's up to you. Easiest way to get this on there, there's a slot here where the old, the old capacitor was at. Close up your zip tight just a little bit. Get your capacitor in there, zip tight it. And then once you have that installed, this one has way more wiring than your, your previous compressor. So you wanna go ahead and grab the orange and red wire. Orange and red. You wanna cut these to about, you wanna just pull out towards the compressor, wherever the compressor ends, cut there. 
Cut those two. Strip both ends out. Once you have them both then both then stripped, you want to unite them. Use this pink con that you're gonna receive and crimp those together. Once you have them there, you want to go ahead and use your crimping tool. Give it a nice squeeze, give it a little tug test, make sure you got the crimp right. Next, what you want to do is your yellow and brown wires will already come with these cons. Obviously, these wires are way too long. So you could reuse it if you want to go ahead and loop it and then zip tie it and make it look nice. What I like to do is I like to really nice order. So you want to get your white and black. They're going to go to your power. So you want to pull them all pretty much. And there's a slot here where we're going to zip tie all the wires going that way. So you go there. You grab your yellow and brown, you just measure from there to the capacitor. You can go ahead and cut there. And then you want to go ahead and strip these wires back. You want to crimp this. I'm using a blue con, but you might receive the red one or blue, most likely red. I'm gonna go ahead and crimp those on there, on the yellow and brown. And you wanna just, you wanna go ahead, before you connect the wires into your capacitor, you wanna go ahead and add that electrical boot that you received with your capacitor. Pass both wires in there, like I'm doing here. And you go ahead and connect it to your capacitor here. One on each port. And then you install your boot. Nope. Make your wiring as neat as possible. You want to grab one of the zip ties that you received. You want to zip tie them all together, including the or the smaller ones, which is the orange and red wires. You wanna just connect them here, zip tie that, cut your zip tie, and then just run the rest of the wires. You wanna go ahead and grab a, your fan wire, put it over the slot, and then you wanna just measure everything keep them nice and tight a little tight there what i like to do is i like to start it leave enough a small loop insert it in the slot there And there you go. And you just continue to run your wires. So here what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab your blue and black. They're going to connect to your brown wire that you left coming from your board. And then the white one's going to directly connect to the blue. So blue and black, you get your lanes to make sure you're gonna cut your wires long enough. Don't cut them too short. So you cut there. You get your yellow con that you'll receive. Crimp those two together.
going to go ahead and strip your brown wire. This is your line in. So it powers up your compressor. So brown connects to your blue and black coming from the compressor. So you have it in there. You give it a nice crimp. Make sure you tug on it. Double check your crimps. So what I like to do, get another zip tie, just make it neat as possible so the wires are not everywhere. do the same thing with the white and blue measure make sure they're gonna reach each other cut it I'm gonna go ahead and strip your white wire now and your last con that you received was this red one those together always do a tug test make sure you got a nice crimp and there you go lastly I really don't like to zip tie the ground with everything but you can just because you have to cut it you could always leave that loose in there bring it back here just keep it tucked in there like that and then once you get it here to where the other ground is at Cut to length. Go ahead and strip your, your wire. So you grab your Con 450 that you also received in your kit. You already cut your wire to length to reach that other ground wire. And then you go ahead and ground it to your chassis. Once that's installed, make sure uh, you tighten down the nut. Make sure it's properly grounded. And there you go. That's how you do the wiring on it. Now I'm going to show you how to install the silence. So you go ahead and clamp. Clamp that down, you grab your silencer, make sure you first attach your clamp in there. Push it in there, all the way. Go ahead and get your clamp over it. It's gonna be a little snug, a little tight, but the original clamp will work for this plastic fitting. So, using your existing hose, if it's still in good shape, you can cut the ends that you don't want to use on it. Go ahead and you want to install it. So, you get your existing hose. If you can't get it all the way back, it's fine. So, but make sure you get some needle nose pliers and try to. Widen the hose a little bit so it's easier to get into this fitting because it's really hard. So once uh, you have it right here, you go ahead and uh, measure it to your your out port right here, and then you cut it to length. So it's gonna be like right there. And then you always have a little bit extra from your original to use over here in this front piece. So you, with the piece you remove from your old one, you could always reuse it. But if it's in really bad shape, please order more. It's DLV 22. Go ahead and uh, get this installed right here. Secure all your clamps down. I 
forgot. So you will receive a bigger clamp. And that one's gonna go on the top one. So once you have this clamp installed, this is how it should look. You'll receive a bigger clamp, which is CLP 39. You wanna go ahead and undo it. And when you wrap this around the sit board, just make sure you're not pinching um, anything on the from the sit bed. Little hoses, wiring. Just make sure you're just you're just wrapping around the sit bed and the silencer. So let's go ahead and add the sit tie here to keep the strap from flappy everywhere. So this is what it should look like when you're done. We adapted this original fitting. Cut a little bit off your hose that we cut from the. Uh, older unit, we reclamped it. We added our new compressor with its new wiring. You want to get your 5 8 wrench, tighten everything back out that may be loose or you forget to tighten. This compressor is way quieter than the previous compressor. You may not hear in this video, but you will definitely like it that it's way quieter, the whole unit as a whole.